Adding files in Teams is a great way of working collaboratively. You can create new documents within Teams, upload existing documents into Teams, and work collaboratively on these documents. So let's take a look at how you can access files within Teams. There are a few different ways and it all depends on where the file you want was uploaded to. Firstly, you can access files that were sent in a chat by selecting chat in the navigation bar to the left hand side. And select the relevant chat. Then click the file tab within this chat. Any files that have been uploaded will be displayed. The same rule applies for channels. Click on Teams on the navigation bar to the left hand side. Select a channel, choose file and see all of the files that have been added to that channel. But what if you're looking for a document that you're not sure where it's located? Not a problem, just click file on the left hand navigation bar. This will display all of the files that you have access to through the whole of Teams. Now let's look at how you can add files to Teams. First, let's go into a channel within a team that has already been set up. Click the File tab at the top of the channel. There are a few different options at the top for you to choose from. The first is New. When you click this, you have the option to create a new folder or a new Word, Excel or PowerPoint document. Adding folders into your Teams will help you structure and organise the files. You can add folders at a later date and move files into them, so I'll show you how to do that shortly. First, let's create a new Word document. You'll be asked to name the document. When you've done so, press Create. The online version of Microsoft Word will open within Teams. You can go in and create a document as you would on your desktop application. The great thing about Teams is that it encourages collaborative working. You can work on a document with other people in the channel. When they start editing, you'll notice a pop-up saying that that person is editing this document. It is live editing, which means as the changes are being made, you can see them on your screen with their name next to the additions they have made. Whilst you're editing a document within Teams, you can press the Start a Conversation button at the top here. It will post that file you're working on into the conversation of the channel that you're working from. And a conversation style window on the right hand side will appear. Other members of the channel will then have the option to reply. The document you're working on is constantly saving, so you don't need to worry about saving the file when you want to come out of it. Simply click the backward arrow located at the very top left hand side of Teams, or press close. To edit a document that has already been made or uploaded to the Teams site, select the three dots to the right of the row and select Edit in Teams. It's always a good idea to edit documents in Teams, as the collaboration is in real time and all the other members of the team will be able to see the changes which are being made. You can also upload an existing file to Teams. Select the Files tab in the relevant channel and click the Upload icon. This will open a File Explorer box. Locate the file on your computer and click Open. This will upload it to the Files tab. Another way to add a file is by simply dragging and dropping. Make sure you're in the location where you want the file to go Find the file, wherever it's saved on your PC, and drag it into Teams. Give it a couple of seconds to upload, and then you'll see it appear. So now we have a file in our channel. Let's add a folder and move that file into the folder. Select New, then Folder. Give it a name and press Create. Now highlight the file that you want to move into that folder by clicking anywhere on the row. Select the three dots to the right hand side of the file and in the drop down menu, select Move. A Move To window will open. Select the folder and click Move. Deleting a file or document is just as easy. Simply click on the three dots to the right hand side and select Delete. You'll then be asked if you want to confirm. If you're sure, press Confirm. As you can see, file sharing in Teams is a great way of working collaboratively. For more useful videos, check out our YouTube channel.